this is Nickel Wingman 115. Today we're going to go over the Dynamic Air Rifles 22 caliber. This is their Gen 2 that they came up with. And then we also have the Air Venturi Avenger in 22 caliber as well. Both guns are regulated guns. Both guns are adjustable. And we'll go over a little bit more on that. So first we're going to start off with the Dynamic Air Rifles. So the Dynamic Air Rifles gun is a great gun. I love the wood stock on it personally. The trigger is pretty nice. There's really only about one adjustability on the trigger and that's pretty much travel. I find the trigger to be pretty nice, but the second stage is, I don't want to say mushy, but it takes some getting used to and it's not a match grade trigger. It's not advertised as that. But you got to realize you're looking at a $300 PCP here that shoots great. The way I have it set up right now is about 1500 PSI is what it's right to. I have the hammer spring backed off. And the reason for that, a lot of people don't think about this, but as you increase that hammer spring, it also will make that trigger a little rougher to pull too. Both guns I have trigger set around, and you'll see video on this, of around a uh, high one pound range. The DAR has a little more travel than the Avenger does, um, but they're both great rifles. This has a lever action. The breech is all one machined piece of aluminum right here, which I really, really like. Um, it's very solid, very well built. Both these guns are made overseas, by the way. Um, the barrel is about a 16 and I believe three quarters. I'll list the specs below. Uh, internal barrel with a shroud um, and an end cap that will screw on and off. There is not at this time an adapter to put a half by 20 UNF suppressor on it. In the 22 caliber, I do not feel you need it. I do have a 25. I would like to have it for that. And I've talked to Dynamic Air Rifles. They are in the process of making that. Your scope mount up here is dovetail. So you need dovetail rings. You can mount whatever scope. I just have an inexpensive first focal plane on this right now. Um, the wood stock is a beautifully finished stock. Got some nice checkering on it. Um, a little rubber butt pad, 22, 25, it's not really necessary, but it gives it a very good look. So this is a great gun. I get about, the way it's set up right now, about 40, 45 shots. And I'm pushing about 25, 26 foot pounds. Uh, it's basically 800 feet per second on a uh, 18 and a half grain Barracuda Hunter Extreme. Um, and like I said, I'm getting about 45 shots. Very consistent. This gun does not like slugs um, in the testing I've done. I've tried all the way down to a 17 and a half grain slug from Nielsen Specialty Ammo. It does not like them. I get some clipping on the end cap on the inside when I notice, so I'm not getting any kind of consistent even groups. Um, I might have to play with that a little more, but I did not get this as a slug gun. This is kind of a plinker, backyard, bird, pest kind of gun. This is not a slug gun, which is kind of unusual for me. Um, so, you know, it's very nice. Now, your rake and your hammer spring are adjustable. Your hammer spring is external, and you're not going to get a whole lot because you have a very short body here to compress that spring. Your valve's going to be about here. Um, but you have to pull it out of the stock to adjust it. Your rake is also adjustable, but you have to pull it all the way off. There is, right on, I believe, this collar on the inside there, there's an air bleed screw, so you can bleed it out. So it's, you know, you can pull it out and adjust it, put it back. You do not have a gauge or anything to tell you what the rake pressure set at. What I did, because this is where your gauge is, is right here at the end. I'm not a super big fan on that, but that's where it is. Um, you, I just shot it down, and then when my rake or my chronograph number started falling off, I looked at the pressure. That's where I came up with. I am raked at about 1,500 PSI. That would be a nice... Uh, addition, if you ask me, is to have a rake pressure gauge because sometimes rakes tend to creep or the pressure can change with weather, as anybody knows. Uh, it would be nice to have that on there. So, this is a great gun, um, especially for 300 bucks. Uh, I, I would put it up against my gauntlet, but honestly, 
It's about a pound, maybe even almost a pound and a half lighter than my gauntlet with a solid wood stock, um, which is pretty darn impressive. I get a few less shots than I would in a gauntlet in 22 caliber, but you know what? Uh, it's a 3000 PSI fill, so it's real easy to hand pump like you would on a gauntlet. Uh, 250 cc reservoir on this, by the way. It does take a fill probe. So, don't lose your fill probe or you cannot, uh, you cannot fill this gun. Um, I, I'm kind of a fan of the Foster fitting, but you know what? Once again, at this price point, the quality is great. This gun just screams quality. The other thing too, is their magazine. 10 shot rotary magazine, all machined aluminum. Very well built, very nice. Um, have had zero problems with, and they're affordable. Um, if you compare them to some of the other magazines that looks like a day state, a lot less expensive and still very good quality. So that is my uh, input on the Dynamic Air Rifles 22 caliber. Now I'm going to go over the Avenger a little bit, same thing. So on your Avenger, a couple of different things. You're getting a little more power out of this gun. This gun, the way I have it set up with about, probably about the same shot count because it's a smaller cylinder, but it, you fill it up to 4,300. A little tougher to hand pump. Make sure if you're gonna get this gun in a hand pump, it will go to a 4,500 PSI fill, um, or you're not gonna get the benefit of that. The other really nice thing about this gun, I have a gauge. It's not at the end of the barrel. Very easy to read in PSI or bar. And I have another gauge over here, which tells me what my regulator set at. Um, so I can know, oh boy, I might, you know, I might be able to, you know, find out, oh, I need to fill back up again. You know, if, I, if I've lost shot, sometimes that happens when you're having a great day hunting. Um, you know, they're both side levers. This trigger is more adjustable. I can adjust uh, some of the screws here, kind of tough to see. This one in the center is my uh, tension. Down here is my pre-travel, and over here is my after-travel. So... I do like that they built in a Picatinny rail already. And a little thing here for the sling. The stock, and this is the one down for everybody says about this. All of plastic. I don't know of anyone who's broken it. Me personally, I would pay another $50 to $100 to have a wood stock like you have on the DAR there. I like the way the wood looks. I like the way the wood feels. Um, if I hit the wood, it doesn't make a hollowy sound like the hollow plastic does. But, once again, $300 price point gun, can't really complain a whole lot, okay? I do like the way they've done the barrel band here. Um, also, I have a Donny FL adapter. This one does take a Donny FL adapter, so now I can add my choice of suppressor, half by 20 or whatever threads my adapter needs. So now, I can make this thing a lot quieter. So that is the thing of beauty to me, because I can take this from 30 foot-pounds. I can easily, even in 22 caliber, shoot this thing with some heavy pellets or slugs. And yes, this gun does like slugs, like slugs a lot. Um, I can start pushing in the low 40 foot-pound energy and still get that 35 to 40 shot count or more. I'm just going off of what I've found. Um, the, the safety on here is a little bit different. It is a side lever, just like the other one. But this one, there's your safety, very simple. Here is your screw here, little rubber cap, that probably won't take long to lose, to adjust my rake pressure. Once again, external, never adjust it down. You can break the rake, you're not gonna get a super great rake at this price point. But my consistency on shot count is very good. So I don't need to take it apart to adjust that rake pressure up. So if I wanna go from shooting pellets to Hey, we're seeing some coyotes, let's shoot some slugs. Fantastic. The lever on here is very nice, just like on the dart. Um, you also have, I don't know if you guys can see it very well, that's the hole to adjust my hammer spring because as I increase my pressure, I'm gonna need more tension on that hammer to open that valve all the way. Also, another thing on this gun that I like, you take this off real quick, let's go. Dovetail, 
or Picatinny. So whatever scope mounts you like, some like the Picatinny, some like the Dovetail. Um, but this will accept either or. So, big difference. Now the other thing is this woodstock is that lighter plastic. But this compared to the Dynamic Air Rifles is going to be, I want to say, about a pound lighter. So, everything's going to have its give and take. So, that's, you know, one of the things. You know, you might have that hollow plasticky sound, but it doesn't matter if you want the lighter weight. So, now in comparison lengthwise, if we compare the two, now if you take off the suppressor, not a whole lot of difference in length, but the Dynamic Air Rifles has a 16 and 3 quarter inch barrel, where the Avenger has a 22 and 3 quarter inch barrel. So you're going to get more power, um, better slug shooting out of it, everything. So the Avenger, those guys who like to tinker, those guys who like to play and, you know, adjust their rate pressure, their power, um, shoot pellets and slugs out of a gun, the Avenger is a great gun. Someone who just wants something that's set it and forget it and go shoot it, fill it up with air, Dynamic Air Rifles is a great gun. So. That's what I would tell you. Now, I'm going to hand you guys over to Adian. He got a chance today to shoot both these guns and put some uh, pellets through them and have him give you some of his feedback on them. See you in a bit. One pound, 13.3 ounces. One pound, 14.8 ounces. One pound, 15 ounces. I'm going to average that. That is one pound, 7.4 ounces. One pound, four ounces. Two pounds, point three ounces. Two pounds, one point six ounces. I'm going to average it. That's one pound, seven point four ounces. Right there. That's all three shots. Hey, this is Adian from Wingman115. Today I'm going to be talking about both of these guns. First is the Air Venturi Adventure 22 caliber, this one back here. And the other one is the Dynamic Air Rifles Gen 2, or the DAR Gen 2, 22 caliber as well.
and I'm just going to give a quick like rundown on how it felt to shoot these two. So, for the Air Venturi Avenger, it had a nice trigger pull, very good first stage and second stage, had no problems with it whatsoever. It's very nice, very, very nice trigger pull. It is lightweight because of what it's made out of, but overall, I really like the gun. It's a great gun. When I shot it, which I'll show you in a second, when I shoot it right now, it, it sounds really nice and it really, really feels really nice light trigger pull there. Put it back on safety. For the DAR, it feels, feels a little bit heavier. I'm gonna make sure it's off safety here. Yep, okay. Has a little bit, it feels a little bit heavier but still pretty light, has a nice first stage and second stage, and they both cycle really, really well. They're both really great guns, and either one you're looking at, they're both gonna be great to pick from. All right, guys, so that was AD and my son giving you some input on what he did and didn't like about them, shooting them. Um, they're both great guns. I don't think you can go wrong with either or. What you need to ask yourself, are you more of a tinker? Because that would be more of an Avenger gun. Or are you more of a set it and forget it? Both are well-made quality guns. Same price, if you will, for the most part, depending on where you buy them. Um, the other thing you should ask yourself too, are you a big weight guy? Are you a big wood stock looking you know, guy? Because the wood stock, and I, I love the way wood looks, to be honest with you. But you can't argue with the power you're getting out of the Avenger. You can't argue with the weight of the Avenger but it's also gonna be a little more of a beast to pump up. So remember that. Appreciate you guys watching this video. You guys have a great day. Thanks again. We'll see you later. See you guys.